All right, Amanda and Amanda just mentioned all that cold air. A lot of folks will be taking an extra careful look at their car's tire pressure this week and a new study from AAA also taking a look at tire pressure and the monitoring system. Joining us live now over Zoom is Clay Ingram with AAA Alabama. Clay, tell us about the study and why it was conducted. Well, it's just one of those things that we kind of like to keep an eye on to to kind of determine the reliability of those automatic sensors that most of us have in our, our cars. And uh, as you and Amanda mentioned a minute ago, there's probably a lot of those lights coming on today uh, all across the, the southeast. And uh, the study found that those uh, those sensors in your tires are very reliable. Most of them are within one to one and a half percent of uh, of the actual pressure that's in the tire. So they are reliable. But the thing to remember is that uh, typically your dashboard warning light doesn't come on until your tire pressure is reduced by about 20 percent. And 20 percent is is a lot. I mean, that can be uh, six, seven pounds of pressure in, in most tires. So uh, you want to keep an eye on, on that tire pressure um, in addition to keeping an eye on your dashboard light, the, the light is a great thing, but you don't need to rely on that completely, especially this time of year when we see so many uh, tires lose pressure overnight with this cold weather. You know, you could be five, six pounds uh, below the recommended amount of pressure and that light still not be triggered. So uh, you need to keep a tire gauge in your car. And, uh, and just check those periodically. Even if you go to one of those machines that tells you what the pressure is in your tire as you're filling it up, you still need to check it with a good reliable tire gauge when you finish, because those things are pretty good. They're pretty accurate and pretty trustworthy, but um, uh, tires are, are sort of a tricky thing. It's the only part of your vehicle that touches the road, and they're kind of the, the unsung heroes of your car. Uh, and having them properly inflated will make sure that they work uh, at their optimum level uh, as far as safety and uh, and gas mileage go. Because driving around on underinflated tires can really affect your gas mileage as well as your level of safety with those tires. And Clyde, what are some things in this study that really stood out to you? Well, I think the thing that that struck me uh, the the most about that study is that. Uh, those sensors are very, very reliable. I mean, you're talking about uh, the, the the readings on those uh, sensors being within one, one and a half percent of the actual pressure. Um, that's that's pretty significant. And uh, but again, you don't want to depend on that wholly. You you want to uh, keep an eye on that with your tire gauge. And uh, it's a good idea to check your tire pressure about once a month. Uh, we we typically suggest to people. Uh, take their, their day of their birthday. If their birthday is the 10th, then the 10th of every month, you might want to grab that tire gauge and do a quick check on your tires because it'll not only uh, make you safer on the road, but it'll, it'll help uh, uh, maximize your fuel efficiency as well. Clay, as we get into the holiday travel season, a lot more folks will be hitting the road. You mentioned, obviously, we're talking about tire pressure. What else should people do? What else should they look out for or look into ahead of the holiday travel season when it comes to their cars? Yeah, that's a great question. And, um, you know, there are lots of things. Your fluid levels are always important. But uh, when we're getting into the colder weather like this, uh, in addition to your tire pressure, you, know, you also need to, to uh, check the health of your battery. And most uh, repair centers and oil change places, uh, most anybody nowadays has have these really neat little battery uh, testers, and and they can can test the, the the general overall health of your battery. Uh, most batteries lifespan uh, is only about uh, three years, and so you need to to, to kind of check on that that the health of your battery to know if it's in really good shape or pretty good shape or doing okay or hey it's kind of on its last leg it's not going to last much longer you might want to go ahead and replace that uh, on your terms so that you're not uh, you know so you don't find yourself stuck in a parking lot or even your own driveway one morning uh, because it got a little extra colder that night and uh, and it just went ahead and f killed and finished off your battery so uh, being able to to check that and and keep an eye on it is, is a much more convenient way of getting your battery changed than having to do it at an inconvenient time. Clay, you said most batteries last about three years. Is there a similar time frame or idea for tires, or does it just depend on the wear and the tear and travel? 
Yeah, just the wear and the tear. It, it comes down to the mileage on those for the most part, but it also comes down to how well you're taking care of your tires. Are you keeping those tires properly inflated? Are you uh, keeping them routinely um, uh, uh, rotated and balanced? Uh, because that can really expand the life of your tires too. If you, uh, if you keep them rotated on a regular basis, it'll make them last a lot longer and you'll get a lot more mileage out of them because if you if you ignore that and don't rotate and balance those tires on a regular basis, you'll you start getting uh, irregular wear. You'll get uh, wear on maybe the inside or maybe the outside part of the tread, and it'll really wear that uh, that tread down a lot more quickly. And you'll be buying tires a lot more frequently than you would if you really took good care of them. Clay, where can people go to read more on this story and read more of those tips? Yeah, just go to AAA.com. Um, it's free to, to anybody and everybody, and there's uh, a lot of great information out there about travel, about safety, um, about uh, you know, how to winterize your car and, and things like that. And uh, it's free to anybody and everybody with no strings attached. All right, Clay, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thanks, Jasmine.